right, so in the Strongest Battlegrounds, there are a ton of different features. Whether that be ultimate modes like the Tatsubaki Meteor, or techs like this Shove tech with Saitama, which allows you to combo very easily. But one of the features that not a lot of people think about are all of the different passives that movesets have in the Strongest Battlegrounds. And one thing that a lot of people don't know is that some movesets have more than one passive. What? And according to the official Strongest Battlegrounds wiki, all the characters have different base and ultimate moves along with a passive that change how you play. That means that there's most likely hidden features about your favorite movesets that you probably didn't know. And I'm gonna use all of them in this video, including the passives that make Genos the number one used moveset by pros, a passive that makes your sword flaming without an ultimate mode with the Atomic Samurai, and way more. But all right, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's hop into the first passive for the first character which is obviously gonna be the strongest hero. And we're gonna make our way down through all of the different movesets. But okay, before we jump into this video though, and we use all of these crazy passives in the strongest battlegrounds, I wanna go ahead and give away some Game Pass people that liked, subscribed, and commented on the last video. All right, but let me go ahead and give one to this goober right here because they commented and are subscribed on the last video. And they said day 22 of not drinking water, bro. What? <laughs> what, dude? All right, dude, listen, dude, you gotta drink water, man. Like, what are you doing? Bruh. I think he wanted early access. Here, man, listen, you could drink water now. Don't worry about it. All right, and boom, there we go. Hope you enjoy your Game Pass goober. And let me go ahead and give one to this goober right here as well because they are subscribed and commented on the last video as well. And they want private servers plus, bro. I got you. I got you, man. I got you. I hope that you enjoy your private servers plus Game Pass and learn how to do some of these crazy passives that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. And all right, let's actually go to the Strongest Battlegrounds wiki and check out the Strongest Heroes page. And actually if we scroll down to passive it says the strongest you gain ultimate mode two times the regular speed so if you guys have ever used saitama and realized oh my gosh i get my ultimate mode super fast that's actually the passive for this moveset you get to unlock your moveset or your uh your ultimate mode extremely quick so i'm gonna challenge myself to get this as fast as i possibly can in a public server do you have any idea how fast i am all right i'm in a public server and i'm gonna time myself and see how quick it takes me to get my ultimate mode built all the way up all right we've got our first we've got our first goober right here okay let's start cobbling him up and i'm just gonna use like pretty simple combos and uh he's gonna dash and then i'm gonna hit him with that oh my gosh he actually hit that that was impressive all right let's go ahead and start cobbling him again i'm gonna see how fast i can actually get this ultimate okay come on come on come on and actually uh, on top of this ultimate mode oh, okay this guy literally just stole my kill what the junk dude but yeah, as you can see, we didn't even get the kill on that guy. We have our ultimate mode halfway filled up already. All right, dude, you're dead. You're dead, buddy. You're 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 up next. I'm just trying to see how fast I can build up my ultimate, guys. What are you? Why are you all coming after me? The whole server's teaming on. Oh, never mind. This guy just death counted. Hey, dude, I appreciate you. And dude, just like that, we already have our ultimate mode. So yeah, we can activate this. Uh, use our death counter, please. Don't hit me, dude. Oh no, dude. Oh crap, we just wasted our death counter, bro. Did I really just waste my freaking death counter? I okay. All right, dude. All right, dude. No, no. Come on, come on. Use, use it. Oh, and and I still didn't get hit by it. What the heck? All right, you know what? I'm done with this Saitama moveset. I always use this moveset in videos. So let's move on to the next passive. All right, let's go back to the wiki and see what the Hero Hunter passive is. All right, passives. Oh, this has got more than one passive. I didn't even know that. Martial Artist. The final hit of your M1 chain has significantly higher launch angle than other characters' M1s. All right, I'm gonna spawn in a dummy here and here. I'm gonna test this out really quick. Okay, there we go. That's the regular, uh, that's the regular hit. You see, it went just like two spaces and he just kind of hit the ground right away. But if we use the Hero Hunter moveset, which is the passive that we're testing out now, it should launch him like higher in the air. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. It launched him maybe, yeah, a little bit further and knocked him in the air. All right, one, two, three, hit him with that. And then you can literally just catch him, dude. It's pretty overpowered. But dude, I didn't even know that this had two passives. The other passive is called Monster. It says gain health 33% HP after killing someone with flowing water, lethal whirlwind stream, and praise peril and gain 20 percent hp when killing somebody with hunter's grasp gain 50 percent hp when killing somebody with the final hunt i had no idea i actually did not know about any of this i thought that i i actually don't even know what i thought <laughs> but all right we got to test this out in a regular server all right let's start uh comboing some goobers up yo this guy is c class by the way that's what i was talking about earlier with the one uh the or the first passive you can do stuff like what i just did right there oh this guy's afk i'm, I'm actually not gonna kill him Ooh. Ooh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this person's getting destroyed right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude! All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we're about to get a kill on this person. How did they get that hit off? What the heck? I have like no health. Let's see if I can build up my health just by killing this person. All right, come on. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay. Did we gain health back? Yeah, we did. We did gain health back. I think I knew this before, but I didn't realize that it's only like 20% health. But I want to see my health get 50% healed with this final hunt move with this ultimate mode. So let me build this up. Let's build up our health a little bit more. Wait, will this heal us? Oh yeah, it just healed us fully. Oh my gosh. Now I do want someone to do some damage to me before I use this final hunt move on somebody so I can see myself get healed. Although I do think when I activate my ultimate, I do get healed. So I'm going to just go ahead and activate my ultimate right now. All right, bop. All right, you know what? I'm going to let this dude do some damage to me. Okay, yeah, do some damage. I don't mind. I don't mind. Do some damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some damage. Come on, you've got this. I, I believe in you. Come on, how are you missing all these hits? What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, one, two, three. Hit it with that right there. Rock splitting fist. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now we need to hit with the final hunt. It's over. Wait, heal? Heal? Yeah, dude, we just healed all the way. Uh, I did not know this moveset actually had all of these different passives. And actually, this these passives, the fact it has two passives makes this moveset actually a lot better than I thought it was. So, wow, I'm actually really impressed by that. I didn't even know that myself. And I played this game way too much. I have like 400 hours on this game. Life. There's Roblox. But okay, let's move on to the next move set's passive, which is the Destructive Cyborg, aka Genos. And you guys are going to see why all the top players use Genos to get kills. Check this out. All right, so I'm on the wiki. Let's go ahead and click on the Destructive Cyborg. Let's scroll down. Let's go to the passives. There is O. Oh my gosh there's three passives there's three passives for this moveset bro you've got to be joking what all right i'm equipping this right now dude what i didn't know that that's overpowered guys i'm learning so much literally just from this video dude i was gonna make this a second channel video but this is definitely gonna be a main channel video now but all right let's let, let's see what these passives are for this destructive cyborg genos moveset all right rocket powered fist the fourth hit of an M1 combo gains increased range. Uppercuts launch victims further into the air. All right, I think I already knew this one, but let's test this out. So we should be able to uh, knock players back further, and we should be able to knock players up in the air further too. All right, this guy's AFK. Let's go ahead and just uh, like test it on him. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, that launches him into the air. And then when you actually like hit them, let's see. It sends them. Okay, so the other ones were two. Uh, blocks from before and that one was like three that's insane but all right let's see what the other passives are too because there's still two more for this move set apparently what is burst out activating ragdoll cancel while on the ground will trigger a small explosion dealing 9 to 14 percent damage and stunning anybody in the blast area this is actually very helpful for if like somebody is comboing you and they get you on the ground but yeah let's actually test this out okay let's go he said don't hit my pookie oh he's trying to protect the dummy you know what all right let's see if this guy will uh use his side dash so if he uses his side dash yeah right there that little explosion and he used his ultimate okay but yeah that little explosion right there is actually what does the damage and it stuns you okay all right okay wow he is not happy with me right now what's he gonna do what's he gonna oh <laughs> i don't think so uh-uh buddy sorry buddy not gonna happen not gonna ha okay wow he's using incinerate ow dude every single time i try to like mock somebody or like do an email on somebody i just get instant karma ah! But I would say that the coolest passive for this moveset has to do with the ultimate mode. And uh, this passive is pretty much the reason why so many like pro players use this moveset to just get a ton of kills. So the last one, Charring Finish. Finish an opponent with any skill will reset all of the different moves for this moveset. So technically, you could literally just hit one player and then hit another player and then hit another player. And as long as you just kill them every single time, you can just use your moves like you have no cooldown. Let me show you guys. All right, so sadly, I am gonna have to use the dummies to uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna turn on finishers only just because we're gonna simulate like they're all low health. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give myself my awakening. And let me show you how overpowered this passive really is. So we can use speed blitz drop kick. And because we killed them right away, we can use another speed blitz drop kick into another speed blitz drop kick. Oh, or I messed up because I'm an idiot. And I hit the freaking dummy from before, but check this out. That's fine because we got another kill and we can just use speed blitz drop kick again. 
and then use speed blitz drop kick again and we can just keep on doing it as long as we get a kill every single time we hit somebody and you can do this in a public server and that's why players get so many kills with this move set and not to mention i don't know if i don't know if this is mentioned in the passives for this move set but if you kill a player with jet dive uh with this finisher right here you can actually get three kills for killing just one player so that's overpowered that is something that i do know and that's why a bunch of uh, like pro players use it to just farm kills but all right yeah that's pretty much all the passives for genos so let's move on to the next move set let's check out these uh these passives for the next move set which what is it the deadly ninja all right so i'm back on the wiki let's go ahead and click on the deadly ninja and scroll down it looks like there's only one passive mm, that's uh that's kind of that's kind of trash i'm not gonna lie it's called flash steps and i already know what this is after finishing an opponent with the skill the player will gain three teleport dashes so instead of a regular dash like this your dashes will look like this which actually is uh pretty overpowered uh just for like a regular passive but dude there's only one passive for this move set that's kind of trash <laughs> For some reason, Speedo Sound Sonic was like hyped up to be such the, like this crazy good move set at one point. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of the worst move sets in the game now. Like the passive for it is cool, but you can only do it three times and then you're back to your regular move. All right, well, enough with that lame passive. Let's move on to another passive, AKA the next move set, which is going to be the Brutal Demon. The passive for the Brutal Demon move set is I'm pretty sure when you take damage, your ultimate mode gets built up for you. Yeah, let me actually go to the wiki and check because I don't want to give you guys wrong information or something all right but i'm back on the wiki let me go ahead and click on brutal demon and let's scroll down to the passives okay there's two different passives so this is the one i was talking about taking damage will gain progress towards your ultimate mode however damage from ultimate skills do not count all right so i got a goober to join my private server and he's gonna start hitting me and i'm not gonna be hitting him at all and you're gonna see that my ultimate mode is just gonna start going up as soon as he hits me yeah look at this my ultimate mode is getting built up just by this goober hitting me and this is actually really good if you suck and you can't hit players uh, because you literally just get to have your ultimate mode built up for you. <laughs> but there still is another passive. So I want to check what the other one is because I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. All right, the next passive is called Metal Bat. You're given a metal bat as your main weapon, changing how you deal with M1s. Crushing blow, your final swing slams your opponent down. Okay, so that is something different. I knew that. And then heavy, your M1s are slower than most characters, which can be a disadvantage. Wait a second, you're telling me that the passive for metal bat is actually secretly a disadvantage. I feel like it's a disadvantage unless you know how to use metal bat. Because if you know how to use metal bat and you know how to time these swings like super well, then that might be actually be like a, like a buff. Like that, that might be like an advantage. So let's Let's see what the passives are for atomic samurai all right there we go i equip my blade master move set and let's go back to the wiki page and click on the blade master and let's see what this passive is there's two passives i thought there was only one passive so the passive for this one is master of kenjutsu your fourth m1 will launch your opponent opponent further than normal i feel like these passive ones which by the way this uh, second passive for this moveset is insane but these regular passive ones like this one right here where it just launches a player a little bit further it's kind of stupid if you ask me i don't know i wouldn't really consider that a like a passive i would just consider that like a difference in like the m1s all right let's see all right boom oh oh wow oh wow Wow, that's actually way further okay i didn't even realize how much further that is that's like four tiles that's actually a big difference but let's go ahead and kill the dummy to show you guys what this next passive is watch this i'm gonna get a finisher on the dummy and now my sword is flaming and that's because this is what this next passive is. As you can see, it's called Scorching Blade. After landing a finisher, your katana will be on fire for 15 seconds. This will make your M1s a bit stronger by dealing a total of 21 damage. And then this also applies to when you have your ultimate mode. So I think that if you have your ultimate, you have the flaming sword already. So you don't even need to get a finisher. But let's see. Okay, so if it does 21 damage with the flaming sword, then the regular M1s do how much damage? They do 14 damage. So it does. Let me, let me try to do math here for a second. Um, is it seven more damage? Guys, don't judge me if I did my math wrong, bro. <laughs> But all right, let me use this in a public server. All right, get over here, Goober. Get over here, Goober. So I'm just going to start just absolutely comboing this Goober up real quick. Hit it with the Atmos Cleave. One, two, three, boom. And then let's go ahead and down slam right away. Bop. Hit it with a little quick slice just like that, bro. You you guys better not steal my freaking, uh, you better not steal my kill. Okay, let's see. Will this use the finisher? Or no, it didn't. Quick slice. Quick slice. Use the finisher. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we got our passive. All right, now let's do some damage. Let's do some real damage. Ooh, the slices are even orange too. That's sick. I don't know if it does 
does more damage with the actual moves, but it definitely does more damage in general. All right, hit him with that. Boom. We're going to go ahead and catch him. One, two, at most cleave. And dude, we're going to get our passive again, dude. Look at that, dude. Bop! And we got our passive again! <laughs> now, what you guys have all probably been wondering, what about Tatsumaki? What is the Tatsumaki passive? Let's consult the wiki and see what it says. All right, first of all, it says unfinished work. This is already not a good sign. There are currently no passives. Oh, well, that sucks. But yeah, guys, I actually have a question for you. What do you think the Tatsumaki passive should be? What would be a really cool passive to add to this Tatsumaki moveset that won't make it too overpowered, but will make it pretty fun to use? And actually, hold on. Does Gojo have a passive? I have no idea. All right, does the Sorcerer moveset have a passive? Um, I don't see any passives. Okay, yeah, I don't think that there's a passive. Dang it. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. We just hit 900,000 subscribers. So make sure to hit that subscribe button before we hit a million. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed and adios